would say that you know so what if the bread crumbs are there but he, he just didn't want to leave anything you know uh, unclean so he would just sort of uh, take it and, and put it there anyway while we are talking suddenly uh, Polly Obrega from, from the other end uh, uh, leans back in his chair and uh, you know in his, in his uh, typical voice uh, Polly Poly, Poly, he was our manager leads back and he says, Hey, Sunil, Sunil, hey, what did you do? Vinu came out. So he's now, he's, he's leaning back and he's, he's asked me to ask him that. But because, you know, Sir Don was, you know, closer to him, um, Sir Don heard that and said, so What did Pali say? So, so I said, Well, because he spoke to me in that same language <laughs> the beginning of the tour when we were sitting down for the playing conditions and I had to tell Polly, Polly I don't understand the language you have to speak to me in English <laughs> because I think all of you who have actually encountered Polly Gaga know that his first language anytime he spoke to anybody whatever being a foreigner he would always speak in, 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 in that, in that uh, you know, Gujarati, Parsi, Parsi Gujarati and that's what he must have done with, uh, with Sir Don as well. So Sir Don had to sort of at that stage. So anyway, um, so I said, look, uh, you know, he wants to know how good uh, uh, Vino Mankar was. Oh, so you know, Sir Don got pretty excited. Oh, Vino, oh, he was a fine cricketer. You know, he said he he played a couple of you know superb innings, and he was a fine bowler. But uh, let me tell you, there was one match we were playing South Australia, and. Uh, he had a mid on and I hit the ball over mid on and Vino pushed the man five paces back. I hit the ball over that field and Vino pushed him <laughs> five meters back. I hit him out over. Now Vino has got it on the boundary. And now we're talking about the Adelaide boundary. The straight boundary is perhaps the biggest, the longest the boundary in, in, in the world. So I'm sort of I'm fascinated by this you know, thing. And those were the days we didn't have those huge bats or whatever. And, and I said, so uh, did he finally get you? I mean, that was so silly of me to have asked. Did he finally get you? <laughs> so did, did he finally get you? He said, no, the next time you go, I hit him over that. <laughs> so, so, so I said, so, so what happened then? He said, nothing. We know was taken off. <laughs> so, but basically, the respect that he had uh, was was so heartwarming, so heartwarming, uh, because that is the respect that uh, you from the from the greatest. Once you get uh, something like that, and uh, when I and you could see, I was I was actually I kept getting worried that Polygaka is going to take this chair back so much he's going to fall. <laughs> he kept on, you know, leaning back. He, so, so what, girl? So what, girl? So what, girl? I have a to tell him, Polygaka, why don't you come and sit here? You can ask him. And, and why? And I said to him later, Polygaka, you had such a, you spent so much time with him at the beginning of the tour. Why didn't you ask him? He said, maybe, girl, you know, at that time I didn't know him, so I was uh, so didn't know him so well. Now I know. Anyway, it was, it was quite quite interesting because the, the, the respect that Sir Don had for uh, for Vijay, Vijay Bhai, despite the fact that Vijay Bhai hadn't gone on that tour, and for Vijay Hazare. And truly when you think about you know that era and the and the and the the, the cricket that was played in, in, in that uh, you know time, uncovered pitches, um, so you got a sticky dog, uh, you know. The, 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 uh, the, there was uh, hardly any uh, mowing of the uh, grass. Uh, in fact, that wasn't there. So the grass would grow over a period of three, four, five days. And therefore, to be able to achieve the, the spinning, uh, you know, results, to be able to achieve the batting, uh, you know, uh, performances that you know these, uh, you know, gentlemen did, was nothing short of uh, of uh, phenomenal. I just therefore think that it was been so appropriate that the Legends Club started with these three big names. Because whenever we, think, whenever we think of Indian cricket, the first names that come to your mind really are these three names. And therefore, congratulations uh, to uh, the Cricket Club of India for uh, thinking of, uh, of uh, these three names. And, uh, and the fact that we keep celebrating and we, 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 we uh, 
remember them is so important because often as Dilip said quite correctly, there are times when the past is quickly forgotten. And uh, but for the fact that the past has laid the foundation for the future, it wouldn't be there. And therefore, I think, you know, we must remember the past. We must try and do something where our, 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 our cricketers, particularly of the 1930s and 40s, uh, are remembered because they actually were the ones who gave, who, if today Indian cricket is doing so well, it was because the foundation laid by these uh, players. If they had not, when, when India started in the 1930s, if they had not played the way they did and sustained the interest of the Indian cricket loving public, maybe the game would have you know, not been as big as it is today. Over a period of time, you know, the interest kept on developing, and uh, therefore uh, we are at this very, very, uh, you know, enviable position uh, that uh, everybody wants to play India, everybody wants India to tour uh, their countries because you know there's so much more uh, uh, that those countries uh, get with that. And I have to say about my friend Rahul. Now. <laughs> I just gave a bit of a hard time, I know, just coming and saying, I can't make it, I can't make it. Uh, and it was only because uh, I, I just, the, the recent time that I've been with him, I've seen a few air grow in here. So I said, well, that's not fair. I mean, he needs to be completely and totally born. So let me give him a little bit of a hard time. And uh, so we've been, I think, uh, uh, teammates. Uh, Ashok, of course, uh, was a senior man. Uh, one of the funniest guys uh, that uh, I, I have uh, uh, come across, but he was petrified. He was petrified of Vinubhai. And Vinubhai, when he used to bowl to him in the nets, he would get him out. He was our coach at St. Davis College. And I promise you, he would get him out by saying he's going to get him out now. But if we were standing near the bowlers uh, and then Ashok was batting, and we would, we would also try and stand as, as straight as possible because it was always good to learn from somebody as good as Ashok how he was how, how he was leaning into the drive, how he was standing, because the more you learn from your teammates, the better you you can imbibe that and better uh, you can you can bring it into your own game. And Vinubhai would uh, would be bowling a couple of deliveries to him, not not regularly. If there was a bit of a break between the bowlers and he would suddenly he had a ball, he always had a ball in his hand, Vinubhai. And he would come and bowl. And then suddenly he would say, Avejo. Which uh, I suppose it, it, uh, those who know Gujarati I can now see, Avejo. And, and the next ball, Ashok would be invariably clean ball, absolutely clean ball. Either the ball going between bat and bat, tossed up nicely, or the ball turning just that little bit, which uh, would uh, kiss uh, the uh, the off stump. It was just incredible. And this from a, from a person who had given up playing cricket for a long time, and therefore as a coach was just bowling you know just to sort of you know just for the heck of it but at the same time the guy the skill if at that age he could do it to one of india's you know top batsman at that stage ashok was everybody knows how good a player ashok was and to to get through the defense of ashok and it wasn't as if ashok was you know just ashok was just completely i mean even earlier on when he was playing him he just wasn't able to always get the uh, the ball in the middle of the bat. The the visits to the Sindhu were fantastic. I think uh, Mrs. Mankar would would make uh, you know food for us, and we would just sit down. And we know why had his pithy observations about about our cricket. Uh, often it was more a taunt, so that we would we would uh, you know we would sort of you know get into that uh, situation. But no, I really want to prove. That you know that taunt is not uh, not something um, that that we are better than than that. And I think that was also one one way. The other thing I remember is when he was unwell, going to visit him in the hospital, and um, I had my this was in college, and I had my uh, college, college books, and and I had a novel with me. So uh, you know why I was lying on the bed. Uh, I mean he was sitting on the bed, and he said, "Asuche." So I said, no, college, uh, college books. Uh, no, no, no. He said, uh, 
a suture, so pointing to the uh, the book. And I said, you know, why novel, 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 sano. So I just said, you know, tried to explain ki what what it was. It was just I said fiction and you know murder mystery and all that. So I think if I remember right, he says gamecha. That means do you like it or something? Ah, gamecha. I said, I said oh, quite nice. And he said to me, very good, very good habit. He said to me, and uh, I just looked at him. He says, very good habit. You can pass your time. Let the money go. I I don't know how to read. I'm just sitting here, and I'm hoping and waiting if somebody will come to visit me so I can pass my time. So very good, very good habit. So again, there's something you know. Even during the time that he was unwell, he was always wanting to tell you that there is something you know over there that you should do. Where, uh, so I think uh, my debt of gratitude to him for uh, being the the coach he was, the guide that he was, uh, and of course uh, the inspirational uh, cricketer he was uh, is 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 something that really cannot be uh, put in words. Uh, I am absolutely delighted that Rahul uh, and uh, Madhura invited me to uh, come and speak here. I see so many of my uh, former teammates uh, down here, and so many cricket lovers. So I think it's a terrific uh, evening. It's wonderful of you to all have come uh, to pay uh, our respects and tribute to one of India's greatest cricketers. And uh, uh, hopefully, I think, uh, like all of us, took inspiration from uh, his deeds. Uh, uh, we will continue to do so and uh, look to make uh, Indian cricket back to higher and higher. Thank you very much. I think we had a very wonderful session, and I don't.